Okay, now the next bag we designed after a request came through for those little block cases, extra block cases. I'm going to go a little closer so you see it. Now what we did is because that one didn't have a little handle and it was meant to fit at the base of the bag, I thought if anybody did not want to buy the larger bag for whatever reason, whether it's costs or whatever, and they might just be as happy with this little block storage case, I thought it best to design it with a little handle that helps you carry it where you're going. So again, the purpose of this was for your 14 by 14 blocks. So whether it's your applique, paper crafts, I know it fits um, westerly, uh, what's it, the ruler that uh, comes in. It's a crosshair ruler that uh, the westerly rulers are protected in here. And uh, you can fit quite a few blocks. I've just got this one here, but it should give you for one quilt lots of blocks that will be accommodated in this bag and you can carry it with you. Now, people are also saying, well, I don't want the handle. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to separate the handle. This was done with some good thinking around it saying that if you're buying the bag without the large bag, this will be helpful. If you don't like it, just snip it off and you'd be happy as well. There's nothing I'm going to do to remove the handle or offer two types of them. From this bag, we went on to the next product where they said, this is great for individual quilts. We love the fact that you were able to provide this for us, but we want larger block cases where we want lots and lots of blocks just to store at home. We prepare them and we'll leave them and maybe just take these for our retreats. So I went off to the next one. So I'll let you have a look at the insert of what This is style number CA370, and it's a larger block storage case. As you can see, it fits a lot more in this area. And if we're looking at the, I'll just tell you the, well, I'm not sure I can't find those dimensions here, but it's quite large and it fits lots and lots of blocks for you. So if you look at it, the way we open this bag, I've managed to get this in here. This is a quilt, some fabrics, just to give you an idea of what it does take. So it's quite thick. I'm sure you can fit hundreds of blocks in here. It's a great storage bag at home. It's visual. You can see what you've got in there. So this was done as an add-on because that was 18 months ago I designed three bags. All were related to each other. And I thought that I needed, can I, I'll just get the camera up there. And so you can see this as is. So the dimensions for this bag would be 35.5 by 35.5 by 7 centimeters. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these three bags. And uh, we'll move on to the other products now. But before I do this, I want to show you the same bag. When we talk about embellishing it, I have a friend who 
uses lots of these bags for all her quilting blocks and she thinks it's one of the best designs. She prefers the bigger one because she can put her pockets in there and she does use it quite well amongst many of her craft projects. And what she's done, she's designed a little patch using some sashiko embroidery and attached it to the bag at the base. Again, it's your choice. You don't have to do anything but it does work and it looks nice and it personalizes it for you. So this is where we finish off with our bags that are related with block storage. This is our block carry case. Our style number is CA371. This square see-through block carry case is perfect to carry your blocks up to 14 by 14 inches. The dual zipper allows you to open the bag flat. You can easily organize your quilting blocks for your classes and retreats or store them at home. This carry case is not only for quilters, it is a perfect storage solution for scrapbooking, paper craft, embroidery, applique and needlepoint. It also holds the Westerly crosshair ruler perfectly which is 12 and a half inches. This is our block showcase bag. Style number is CA370. This bag is an innovative solution for storing your fabric blocks up to 14 by 14 inches. It holds a significant number of blocks and has a clear front to view and display. You can stack your blocks in the spacious zipped bag, which provides great mobility for your classes, retreats, etc. This case is also ideal for other craft applications, quilting, English paper piecing, stitcheries and applique and carrying of fine papers for your paper craft projects. It is perfect for your westerly crosshair ruler as well. my latest Yazzie bag and this one just may be my favorite one this is the block showcase bag and you're supposed to put your finished quilt blocks in here and I have mine in here but I am working out of this bag I set it next to my machine right here and I can take my pieces out and put them back I'm kind of a neat nick on that thing. I don't like things spread all over. So I have my pieces here that need to be pieced with this section. And down here, I have blocks. I'll put my pattern back because it's, you know, the neat nick. And I will show you a little trick. Because you think, oh, I can't have my pieces and my blocks all in one bag. Well, yes, you can. You just do this. And then you open it up and nothing gets messed up. And now I have access to my blocks. And this is, oh, this is about two inches thick. It would definitely hold enough blocks for most quilts. It holds a lot. It is, it's surprising and it is so handy. It has a handle. It has cloth. I think that's very important that this carry case has, is made of cloth because your fabric is breathing. You know those plastic square things that we carried? They don't breathe and it's not good for your fabric to be locked up in there. And they don't have a decent handle. And this is just really, really nice and convenient. And it stays right here, right next to my machine. 
Yazzie bags. You guys have heard of Yazzie bags? Well, they have a Yazzie bag that is called, let me get this right. This is the Block Showcase bag. It's got the flyer in it. So all it is is just a square. These are the highest quality. I'm telling y'all, highest quality. I'll link to this below. So a couple months ago, I had made Pat Sloan's Hope. This is These are the blocks for Hope. And I have put them, this, it's called a Block Showcase bag. So I have put all these 30 blocks, I think we did these in March, didn't we? Wasn't that a March so long, Hope? So I've got all my blocks, they're, they're big, they finish at 11 and a half, so look, they fit just fine. And I am going to take this quilt with me in this Yazzie bag to, well, well, when we go on our trip, we're doing a big three week trip starting the 19th of July. I will be at the Wooden Spool in Odessa. Yeah, Wooden Spool in Odessa, I think July 20th. We're gonna pop in there, I'm gonna take a video, take you with me, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'm taking my camera, I'm gonna hit all these shops. No, I got so much going on, <laughs> it's crazy. So, love this, has a handle, everything. And I will be sewing this together while we are on the road, so that'll be fun. I received my Supreme Organizer from Yazzie Bags, and I'll put the link down below. Yazzie Bags is a company out of Australia, but they ship out of the United States. So when you order a certain amount of bags, shipping's free. But when I saw this organizer, and it's um, it's going to be great for cross stitch. It's called the Supreme Organizer. So if you travel you know, either in a car, an RV, or you're flying. These bags are so well made. So this is the Supreme Organizer. Look at that size compared to my head. Yeah. And I love this red color. I just think that when I'm done with it, this can be my cross stitch organizer. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to mount it to the front of this bag. I'm going to stitch it onto the front. Isn't that going to be cute? It's going to be so cute. That little red toadstool house. So the Supreme Organizer is going to hold more than one project. Because, um, it's an organizer. What can I say? There are so many pockets in here. There's all these fabulous, fabulous pockets. Look at this. For floss, you could you could actually put a little sticker here and say this is uh, this floss is for um, you know the for whatever project. This floss is for this project. So you can carry multiple projects in this bag while you're traveling. Because I don't know if you are like me, but if I were to just take one project, thinking that that's, uh, it'll force me to get it done, it actually creates a little bit more stress for me. I, I like to jump around. And then there's four little projects, uh, uh, you know, can, pockets. Four little pockets. You know, you can put your needles, your um, scissors. I mean, look at this bag amazing and it's tough enough the the fabric that it's made out of is tough enough that this is I mean really originally Yazzie designed these for travelers for their jewelry for their you know all whatever they're traveling with um, so this fabric that this is made out of and this strap is like really tough 
it really stands up. And you can use it uh, also, you know, look at over your shoulder. You've got a shoulder bag. You've got your cross stitch that you don't want to get lost in the luggage place. And your wallet. Everything can be go in this one bag. And then I'm going to put that. I'm going to put this really cute cross stitch on the front of it. So this will always be my cross stitch traveling bag. Yeah, so I'll put the link for these um, uh, for yazzy.com and so you can take a look there. Are, and I'll have future videos with other Yazzy bags because they are amazing. Amazing. Uh, so this one, don't forget, this is called the Supreme Organizer. It is worth every penny. Store all your accessories for quilting, patchwork, embroidery, needlework, paper craft, and beading. I mean, really. It's 18 zippered pockets of various sizes. 15 of those pockets you can actually see through, so you're not going to lose everything. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be traveling with that one. So now I'm really motivated to get this um, these little gnomes done, you know, to put them on the front of my bag. I will show you something that I discovered. Now this bag has many, many pockets, and I will do, you know, a overview of the pockets in a future video because um, it's a little more complicated for me to do that. She has to set me up a camera and stuff. But this thing has a ton of pockets and little holders, little holders for your scissors and your pans and all these clear pockets, uh, you know, available for your projects. And I'm taking this with me. I'm going to visit girlfriends. But here's the thing that I discovered. I was like, because I'm traveling over the mountain, I've got to take some projects, I'm going to take at least, it's just for a weekend, so I'm thinking I'm going to take at least a couple of cross-stitch projects with me. I wanted to take a magnifier and a lamp, and I was like, well, how am I going to, oh, this is going to be too much hassle. Not, because look at this. I found out that my my daylight lamp you know the rechargeable one that recharges that has the magnifier and I'll put the description of this lamp in the description box along with the Yazzie information and the plug fit in the crafters companion I don't even have to have a separate bag for this did you see that? I just slipped it right in there. And it's still going to fit projects and all the stuff I need. And then I got my Q-Snap in there too. I tell you, I was shocked. I was shocked when that daylight lamp. So I can actually just kind of be tootling down the road. Everything's in here my lamp, everything. So how can you be in the running for a free, mailed to you directly from Yazzie Bags, Crafter's Companion? other thing that has been uh, a good thing for me is I'm trying to get more organized. So <clears throat> I felt like a little piggy here. I just had everything kind of <laughs> kind of stacked around here and I, I said I really needed to get more organized. So I decided to see how uh, I could pack up my crafters Yazzy bag, the ultimate crafters Yazzy bag. I was so pleased with how it bundled up. Now the Yazzy bag 
is heavy duty. It's, it's, um, it's like a step up from your project bag. Uh, it, it's all, it's like luggage. It's almost like luggage, but not heavy. And so, um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we get to hit the road in March sometime, that we get to, um, get the van and start camping and I'm just kind of looking forward to to that and um, so the Yazzie bag <laughs> I started to get melancholy and dream about camping again um, but the Yazzie bag is going to be perfect perfect for uh, transporting a project so I'm gonna readjust the camera and show you how I packed up my Yazzie bag I mean it is going my crafters Yazzie bag is gonna hold more than one project I just have one project right now um, packed in it but easily it will hold more and I was thinking about <clears throat> my girlfriend Becca from Sambri Stitches, she never leaves her house, literally, never leaves her house without her stitching, her hoop or frame, um, all the accoutrement that she needs, because that girl is never going to sit down anywhere. I mean, I can almost see her in the dentist chair, uh, stitching and saying, okay, okay, uh, uh, Hold on a second. I just need to look over here. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, she literally, if there's anyone who needs a Yazzie crafter bag, it would be Becca. So um, I'm going to reposition the camera and uh, let you see what I did. So here is my crafter's Yazzie bag, and I'll put the link below. For this and I haven't decided yet I know I am going to embellish the front but I can't decide if I'm gonna put the gnomes which I really love I, I mean it might have to be the gnomes because the gnomes with the mushrooms would make this red pop I chose red it comes in different colors uh, or if I'll put the fat quarter shop prim and proper sal on here I haven't decided um, but I am going to embellish the front and as you can see it's a nice size and when I open this I'll just show you how much I packed in this. I decided to pack the book house in here because I wanted to see if I could fit everything and I just love how everything fits so look at this look at this I, I keep my floss in floss away bags and so I can see them. I decided to put them into the clear plastic pockets so I could see the number and and it's all right there. Scissors, pen, there's even more options for other accoutrement but look at this. got my needles, I got my box with my needle minders. My 12 inch hoop fit inside here without taking it off of the hoop. Is that not the best thing? And then my chart I kept in a plastic folder, but what I really loved is it was this big clear plastic um, pocket where I could put the key code, you know, the code for the color and the symbols, the symbol code. So it's always showing. All I have to do is open my bag and look and I can see right through that clear plastic pocket. And then I have my, um, oops, my thread, my thread um, keeper there. And I have pockets, I have pockets, I have pockets for another project. If I if I want to take another project along, and in case I finished this one, 
I could stick it in there and I could do that. I mean, this bag is so amazing, and I wish, I wish you could really feel how sturdy this bag is. How sturdy it is because it is really um, amazing. Um, it is going to um, stand up to all kinds of abuse. So I am um, looking forward to getting on the road again. I know some of you were ready for me to get on the road. And I'm going to put a little, I've decided um, I received some adorable key charms. I'm going to put a little key charm on the zipper. But I think this might be my, I don't know if one could say that there's a favorite Yazzie bag. There's so many choices and they all fit um, they all fit different times or uses so but this one is really so versatile for cross stitch I just you know cross stitch or wool stitching I could see myself interchanging but I was very excited when the hoop fit in there yeah, I was very excited about that. Dial number on our website is CA58. So again, this bag has a handle. And uh, you can see the handle is quite long. You can put it over your shoulder. It's a pretty comfortable handle for everybody who's much taller than I am. So, And it's got the little pipings going through, so it gives you a lot of security all the way through the bag. And it comes out on the other side. So, and it's got nice, long, comfortable handles. Right. So let's look at the bag in total. So in here, I've opened the first pocket. And I've got a three pockets in here to keep your clips, your pins, anything you might need, but they've been divided in three ways. Now, often people say, well, I don't really need this here. All you have to do is unpick this area. Do it carefully and you will see that it'll work as a total pocket for you because it's difficult to provide a bag and all the different pockets to suit everyone, but we have tested these for about 18 months to two years before we decided that this style is ideal for you. Now, in this case, what I did is I wanted to give you an area maybe to put a name tag in here. So you might have that pocket in the, here to show your name tag. Then in here, I put some areas, some fabric little sleeves and slots to keep your pens and markers. And under that, when you have a scissors, you might want to keep it in here under a fabric pocket instead of choosing to use them over a plastic sleeve just in case it gets damaged. So I thought about it in this bag and prepared lots of variations on this cover flap so you can use this and begin setting up your the rest of your bag. Now in here, I've got embellishments. Again, you've got these little gussets in here that gives you room. So if you look at these, all these are pretty thick and they fit quite well in there. I could have got a couple more in there. And in here, I've got lots of threads. Now these would be the smaller size threads. So there are three horizontal pockets here. So now I'm changing, turning the page now. And we've come to the third area for you to pack your stuff. Now we've got four pockets, equal sizes. Again, if this one, you prefer the one which is divided, and in this case, you feel your products might need a fuller pocket, you just unpick this area and you'll get the full clear horizontal pocket for yourself. The next pocket we've got is a full sleeve, a full page, maybe to keep your book or anything that you might have. This is an 8 inch hoop that I fitted comfortably in here. I just wanted to show you all these products inside 
so you can imagine what does work for you because on our website with all the pictures we have we get lots and lots of questions from everyone all over the world every day asking for specific configuration of the pockets and it's very hard to take a picture of every sleeve and put it on the website now we've got time lapse videos for you so they take you page by page this is another form of presenting to you our bags and sharing each pocket and talking about it as we're going through. So I hope you enjoy this type of a visual impact of what we're doing today and it helps you understand our bags. Now, the next page we have are full horizontal pockets. Now, in this case, when I told you, you might need it. If you don't, then leave the four pockets for your smaller items. In here, we've provided full horizontal pockets. And that's why people keep their knitting needles in here. I've noticed they keep their wool. They just seem to love this bag for knitting, but I keep wondering where they're keeping their wool. They might be using another wool bag, but definitely for the little items, it seems to work. So these are the two horizontal pockets. Now let's take it to the last sleeve, where this is the end of the bag, the cover. Now in here, you've got... Let me take this out so that you've got a quilted pocket right at the back where you can put a very large hoop. If you're doing needlepoint, I've seen canvases go in here. You've got, I'm just putting the catalog to give you an idea that there's a pocket there. Then we've got another pocket, a fabric pocket in here that you can place another book or your samples or your whatever you need to in here. Then we put the larger pocket at the bottom with a zipper, totally visual. You can fit a lot of stuff. I mean, this is just one third of what I could get in this bag. Just try to stuff it as much as I could to give you an idea of what does fit in this bag. So this was the end of the bag. This is the page before that. Then we've got the one for the hoop. Then I've got the four pockets in here. Then we've got the three horizontal pockets in here for your threads, etc. This is your cover page now, again, with three pockets. And you've got your markers and pens. You can put your personal name tag in here. And you've got the pocket for your little scissors. I think it's a perfect bag for embroidery. And every show we do, we'll have people who would have bought this about 15 years ago and 18 years ago when they say, the best thing I've ever bought for embroidery, could not live without it. So I'm happy that you happy. And all I've tried to do over the last 20 years is bring you bags that suit your needs. It might not be perfect for everything you need, but for now, I think we've done a great job in providing a wide variety for all crafters. I hope you enjoyed seeing this bag. Do you wish you had a better way to prepare, organize, store, and work on all of your quilting projects on the go or in the comfort of your home? Well, today on the show, we'll talk about the innovative bag designs of my special guest, and there's something for every type of quilting project you can imagine. Stay tuned, because today we are talking all about Yazzy bags. Welcome to the Quilter on Fire podcast. Today, my guest is Yasmita Megan, the founder and creator of Yazzy Bags. From a simple idea for a better way to travel with jewelry and a self-made prototype 20 years ago, Yasmita has built a thriving business in the craft industry that has helped crafters and quilters organize their bits and baubles and travel with their projects on the go or just keep them organized at home. The very first craft storage bag was born out of a meeting with an avid crafter in 2001, and her story blossomed into a worldwide business from there. And what's wonderful today when I look back is from that day at the hotel room, from our meeting to this day, we are still using the same factory. The owners that came to visit me are still totally involved they look at Yazzie as their company as well. 
it really seems like Australia is doing well with the pandemic. They're working hard. And I understand that you recently were able to have a quilt show. So tell us about that. It was in South Australia in Adelaide. This was the sewing and stitching and quilt show. They have that each year and we've not been able to attend it uh, for the last couple of years because of what's going on. And uh, this year we did that. It's a three day show. It started on the 30th of April. And I'm going to say to you, it was just amazing. The people were there in huge numbers and right. everyone seemed so happy, chirpy, excited that they finally got out to something that they want to do. They enjoyed, they've missed for so long. Yeah. You could sense it, you know, you could sense it. There was a buzz around the show. Oh, that's so great. Now, I want to mention your website here. So it's www.yazzy.com. And I'll spell that out. It's Y-A-Z-Z-I-I.com. And there's a huge selection of organizers and bags on there, of course. So can you tell us about some of the most popular Yazzy bags for quilters? The one we have is the CA-14, which was the first bag that I introduced 20 years ago. It's still your go-to project bag. I think it's the perfect bag that everyone starts with. And I will sort of show you where they've embellished this bag. And I think it, it looks fabulous. And the next one would be the CA880, which is the quilters project bag. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely one that every quilter needs. And often they tell me that if you take anything more than what fits in that bag you should not leave home basically <laughs> it's because too much. then it's too much did you like this trailer hit that subscribe button to get the new podcast trailer every week and click on the link in the description below to listen to the full podcast